In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a new trade using the trading bot. To create a trade, press on the trades button in the main menu and then proceed to select the create option. The trading bot will allow you to create two types of trades. In this video, we will only go over the regular trade creation process. Start by selecting the symbol to be used in the trade. Make sure to enter the symbol in the right format with the coin name on the left followed by the slash and the pair name. In this case, we will open a trade on ADA BTC. Then, proceed to select a client to create the trade in. For each client, the bot will display two values next to the client name, new amount and existing amount. I will explain about these two values and the amount selection process later in this video. In this case, I will select the Binance client to create the trade. In the next screen, you will be asked to select the number of buy targets for the trade. You can select the without buy option if you are only interested in placing sell or stop targets on your existing coins. Alternatively, you can select the buy zone button to enter a buy zone without specific targets. In that case, the bot will use your default number of buy targets from the configuration to determine how many buy targets to open and will spread them automatically in the buy zone. You can also see the default number of buy targets that will be used in the text at the top of the message next to the client name. In this case, let's choose to have three buy targets. Next, you will need to select the number of sell targets. Just like in the buy targets case, you will have the option to not define any sell target or to enter a sell zone and let the bot automatically open a number of sell targets according to your configuration. For this trade, we will choose to have two sell targets. In the next screen, you will choose the trailing buy percent. If a trailing buy percent is selected, the bot will not place the regular limit order in the buy prices. Instead, whenever a buy target price is reached, the bot will open a trailing buy order with the selected percent instead of immediately executing the buy order. If you want to place regular limit orders instead of trailing buy orders, simply select the without trailing option. In this case, let's choose to use a 1% for the trailing buy configuration. Proceed to select the trailing sell percent. The trailing sell works just like the trailing buy and when selected the bot will not open regular sell limit orders and instead open trailing sell orders whenever the sell targets prices from the trades are reached. Let's select in this case to not use trailing sell. Lastly, you will be required to choose the general trailing stop configuration. When selecting the breakeven option, the stop price will automatically move to the breakeven price whenever the first sell target is reached. The breakeven price will be the weighted average of the buy targets and their ratios. The moving target option will move your stop to the previous sell target price every time a new sell target is reached. For example, when the first sell target is reached, the stop will be moved to the break-even price. When the second target is reached, the stop will be moved to the first sell target price, and so on. If you don't want to use a trailing stop, select the without option. In this case, I will select the break-even option. In the next screen, the bot will display the trade message. Start by copying the trade message and pasting it to the text box. Note that you can copy the whole message, including the text at the top. After pasting the trade message, you will be able to change the prices from the current price to your desired prices. In addition, you can also change the percentages out of the total amount that will be sold or bought in each trade target. The bot will divide the ratios between the different buy targets evenly by default and will use your configured selling strategy to determine the sell target's percentages. Proceed to change the target prices and ratios for your desired values. You can basically choose any price for targets, however make sure to not place a sell target that is lower than the highest buy price. In addition, make sure that the sum of ratios for each target type sums to 100%. When you are done changing the trade details, proceed to send the trade message to the bot. In the next two screens, you will need to choose the amount you want to use to create a trade. In this screen, you will choose the new amount to use, which is the symbol's pair amount you want to use to create the buy targets in the trade. To choose your desired new amount, either click on a button that corresponds to the amount or write another amount in the text box. Note that the bot might not display some percentage options in case they corresponds to amounts that are lower than the minimum you can open an order on in the exchange. If you choose to use an amount that is not shown in one of the displayed options, make sure to insert an amount that is between the minimum and maximum that is displayed at the top of the message. In this case, we will choose to use 0.002 Bitcoin and because it is not one of the options, I will write it manually and send it to the bot. Now, you will be required to select an existing amount to use in the trade. The existing amount is the amount of coins you already have in the client that can be immediately used to place the sell targets. 
Of course, when selecting both a new amount and an existing amount, the bot will create cell targets immediately on the existing amount and will keep adding amounts to them when pending buy targets are filled. If you don't have enough coins to open at least one cell order using your existing coins, you will not see the screen and will skip directly to the next stage. In this case, I will not use any of my existing ADA coins. The last stage in the trade creation process is deciding whether you would like the trade to be cancelled if a sell target is reached before any buy target is filled. If you selected to also use existing coins in the trade, this option will not be displayed and your trade will be immediately opened after proceeding from the previous screen. This is due to the fact that when using existing coins in a trade, they are considered by the bot as a buy target with a price equal to the current price. Therefore, when using existing coins you will always have at least one buy target that is reached before any sell target, so the scenario that is shown in the screen is no longer relevant. In this case, let's choose to cancel the trade in case a sell target is reached before any buy target is filled. The bot will now notify you that your trade was created successfully. Please note that in some cases, it is possible that the selected amount to create a trade will not be enough to place an order for all the buy targets, as some might have an amount that is lower than the minimum allowed in the exchange. If this happens, the bot will not open some of the buy targets starting from the lowest price and will repeatedly redistribute the amount from the cancelled buy targets to the remaining buy targets until each of the buy targets that are left have at least that minimum amount. The same logic applies to sell targets as well. When there is not enough amount to open all the sell targets, the bot will deactivate the highest sell targets until the remaining ones have a valid amount. This is it on how to create trades using the trading bot. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.